I don't buy you new bag. If you reach school, lost her. Come back. Me and you go play for the same chance. We go tear that chance to get good. Beat you so till your papa pay for who use money come beg. <laughs> Stop parents to get their shoes and their slippers and fling it at you anyway. It hits you. Nice to meet you. You can't be prosecuted for that. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Noye and I'm a Nigerian teacher. I live and work in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm super excited to have you join me on this channel. Please be kind to click on the subscribe button, tap on the notification bell. That way you get notified when I drop my next video. And if you're a returning subscriber, wow, I'm super happy and excited at the same time that you're here to join me for this episode. So if you're new, this is the third episode of my series of tips and tricks. So if you've not watched episode one and two, I'm going to link that to that in the card up here so that you can go watch it. Doesn't matter which one you watch first. Thank you so much. <music> I'm going to be talking about setting expectations for your children. Let me say that one more time. Setting expectations for your children. Prior to now, I didn't understand this. I thought it was similar to having rules and regulations like you would do or in the house or at home, in schools or in other places where you have to paste around. I thought that was it. But later when I began to study deeper, I began to understand that setting expectations is not exactly like setting rules. Rules guide us every day and just keep us organized, right? But these expectations as what you want to get at the end of a particular activity or the requirements that you expect of your child at the end of certain things let's give me let me give you an example if you're going to church for example with your children some people just get their children dressed up and they get into the car and they get to church and they come back get ice cream and pizza so children naturally just believe that that's what going to church is all about so that's like it there's a major and there's a minor so they pick the minor i think that's the way that's what you supposed to do every time when you go to church so they don't understand why they're going so if you set an expectation like for example take notes whenever you get to church and share your new learning when you get back let me say that again take notes whenever you get to church and share your new learning when you get back now that makes more sense it means that when the students are leaving home every time they know that they are going to take notes depending on their age right so just, just understand the age of your children and know what to say to them or and understand the age of your learner if you're a teacher watching this video right about now okay so it's important that you set the expectations so that when they return from church and then you say okay so what's your new learning they can share it with you because that's the expectation that you have set for them and then don't be like the typical african mom who will say mm -hmm, today when they go to church okay when they shout hallelujah if you like they play when others they shout hallelujah if you come back as you go here or that african mom that buys a new bag for the child and says i don't buy you new bag if you reach school lost her come back me and you go play for the same chance and we go tear that child out to get go beat you so tell your papa pay for who use money come beg me uh -huh, wait now relax i'm just trying to explain this to people who are nigerians and who can relate to how most african parents express these expectations to you in a very difficult manner or there's a visitor around and then you're winking at the child and the child doesn't even understand the wink so what most children do is just to leave the scene whether they understand or not it's not like the average child who got a wink at some point understood it well, most of us didn't understand the wink we just took the wink and we continued our life thinking that it was the right thing so i'm seeing that what 21st century parents now we know that our children would take wings and if you say that to the child will lose your back come back for meet me and the child will just laugh at you like but what's the matter what are you talking about and you know you're just calling this you know you know you don't mean every word right but the typical african mom will beat the hell out of a child who loses a bag but you're not going to beat your own child so what are you going to do to begin to get the right thing in the, your own children set expectations so when they return whether it's to for a sleepover or to go to church or to do activities or to do their homework whatever it is they are going to do in our to meet new people or when visitors are coming just know that it's for something new or something different or something that is not regular right so you set the expectation for them and let them understand this expectation make sure it's discussed and you understand it then please while setting this expectation be very fair be very fair be very calm and be fair be fair and 
firm while you're setting this expectation i hope that's really very clear then when you set expectation it's important that you set rewards for each expectation and consequences now it means that expectations are not just supposed to be set at any time they're supposed to be set for specific activities now wait when i say set reward a lot of you are now saying hmm, this woman you have come again so for everything that the child does now i'm going to buy of course to compensate the child no that's not what i'm saying relax calm down drink water now sit down let us talk about this in a way that we will both understand if you achieve something in life you get rewarded right and you're just teaching your child that nobody rewards wrongdoing nobody rewards people who do not do the right thing that's what you're just teaching that child then the reward does not have to be monetary it's not something that would cost you an arm and a leg and it's not something that you have to spend money on you just have to mystify it make it look big make it look great make it look special even when you say hey well done that's a reward talk about it you did amazingly well you did something fantastic today thank you for meeting this expectation that was fantastic of you i did a video on how i reward my puppies if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it up in the card for you so that you can go and watch it in that video one of the things i used is a marker the normal everyday word marker so this marker can be used to draw a smiling face at the back of the child's palm to say well done just mystify it so if it's the dad that is giving the smiley face you can see go to mom and show mommy and then mommy sees it and because you agreed on how you raise your children mommy can say wow you got everyone this is a smiling face oh my goodness you did well. you see why you have to keep doing the right thing you're just teaching these children that outside in life on that stage nobody would reward mediocrity nobody would reward you when you do the wrong thing people can only reward you when you do the right thing give examples for the awards that people receive and for other things that people get prizes and everything that people get in school then second the other thing i want to talk about is the consequences for not meeting this expectation now when i say be fair and firm you need to understand before you give out any consequences why this child didn't achieve this expectation you have to be very fair understand why so if you understand it you're also teaching the child that in life there are rules and regulations in the society if you break any rule and that rule requires you to go to jail you're going to go so that's what you're beginning to teach the student so as they go grow older they're going to find out that they are setting expectations that they're supposed to have and they are not going to be willing and ready to break any rule because naturally while growing with you you have taught them to set expectation you've taught them to reward expectation you've taught them the consequences of not meeting certain expectations right and let's give an example of these consequences if you fail an exam what's the consequence you write the exam again and then you pay if it's a tertiary institution for example if you fail the examination you write the examination again that is the consequence so if the child has not done their homework again the consequence is that you do the homework again but then you can lose privileges a lot of us already know that you can lose privileges you know when you're about to watch that interesting program that animated video that that child really lost you can pick that child at that point and say time to serve your consequence and you know the child will not want to do that at that point can i finish watching early now have a lot before i do this mm -mm. it's time to serve the consequence now for example if you've asked the, asked the child to take notes in church and give you the new letter and the child hasn't done that now this is the time to hand over the child a particular material maybe a bible to say okay read chapter one depending on the age of the learner and write your new learning that child will want to quickly finish that up so that's an example of a consequence so study your child like i said the other time if you study your child you know the consequences that should be meted out but then let me issue this disclaimer please do not issue any consequences that would abuse the child let me say that again child abuse is not part of certain consequences or certain sanctions for children punishments that are corporal is not part of what i'm talking about please i beg you with the love of the lord do not do what a typical african parent will do some parents will get their shoes and their slippers and fling it at you anyway it hits you nice to meet you well done you have done something wrong so you get that consequences or you pull the ear of the child until the ear falls off into your hand or it turns red you know how it works now african children that are watching you know now how it was when we were growing up a lot of african children have gone through a whole lot thank god for the 21st century that is changing a lot of things that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying you should use consequences that are very previous or bad or not fair to the child so i understand the age of the child the child use the privations but make sure you don't use the privations like food basics don't take food away from a child don't take sleep away from a child don't take life away from a child just give the consequences that are appropriate like i said earlier the consequences for not doing something that is right is to do that thing 
again and then take away the privileges at that time i hope this video makes sense to you remember to set expectation reward every good expectation the reward does not mean that you have to monetize it or break the, your bank to do that and then set consequences for every expectations not met so this way you're teaching your child or your children basic principles of life and as they grow older when you say it make, makes it sound like they make in Africa. Know the son of whom you are. Know the daughter of whom you are. Some of you have not even told your children who they are. Because they don't even know whom they are. So when they go out, they embarrass you. And then when they come back, you say, ah, 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 what kind of a child is this? Some of us have not done all of these things. We've not set expectations. We've not raised these children to understand that there are consequences in life. So some of them go out and then they misbehave. So when you set these expectations, you can confidently have a friend say, know the daughter of whom you are, know the son of whom you are. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, at this point, come on. Okay, what should I do to make you subscribe? Okay, I'm going to smile so that you can subscribe. Now subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Click on the notification bell so that you can get ready for part four. We're going to stop this series at part five and then something big is going to come to this channel. I hope you have your fingers crossed and get ready. So as we end this video, spread positivity, be kind, show love, stay safe and be blessed. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. If you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, tap on the notification bell, like it, comment and share. Thank you.